it's it's been a while I was planning to create a series on the uh, cloud technologies like Azure and AWS and uh, after working for a long time I finally found some time to create it and uh, as you can see um, a professional IT person and also have a tremendous passion to work out as you can see in my picture that's me yeah that's me so I usually do not have much of a time but uh, I managed so that I could create something good and that could help people uh, who wants to get into cloud so hello everyone my name is Arun and uh, this is my uh, introduction uh, a very small introduction I have over 12 years of experience in various Microsoft technologies uh, AWS infrastructure as code docker and kubernetes and uh, below are the certifications that I have completed so far <clears throat> that includes all the certifications of Azure starting uh, stating AZ except the 400 and 200 200 is for the data and I'm not very comfortable as of now and uh, I've also completed the old certifications of Microsoft and associate architecture for AWS as well I have completed my studies uh, in preparation for docker and kubernetes but i do not have much of exposure that i want to to appear for the certification so those are still pending and i do have uh, exposure on terraform that i prefer for the iuc than the other tool or language <coughs> so this is about me and this is where uh, we'll start the series for 300 first and then we'll plan for other certifications as well if things will go as per planned all right so uh, this will be our this is the introductory video for AZ 300 so uh, let's go and check the next slide what it says It says AZ 300 MS Azure Architect Technologies. That means people usually say AZ 300, AZ 301, or 103. So what it means, I just wanted to uh, be absolutely, absolutely clear. It's architect technologies, and there are people who are a bit confused. What is the difference between 301 and 300? Because both are related to the architect technologies and designing. So uh, there is a huge difference in 301 and 300. It's uh, if you see with the perspective of an architect, you would understand this is all about the technologies and 301 is all about designing uh, all right let's go ahead and see what all uh, things we need to cover in this uh, C003 series so that we could uh, appear and clear the exam <clears throat> so uh, we have syllabus on the screen right now with the weightage it requires so you can see we have 25 to 30 percent for deploy and configure infrastructure this is just in uh, you know a broad uh, structure deploy and configure infrastructure but it includes a lot of lot of topics technologies and azure resources that we need to learn trust me it's not a small uh, certification it is a very huge it takes a lot of time to go through all the resources and go through all the uh, you know study material and we need a hell lot of experience as well at least two or three years of experience uh, in in cloud in Azure 
to perform better in the exam because it also includes labs it is not like you go through a couple of you know <clears throat> question papers and you would have the edge because this includes labs and if you know how to perform only then you can perform the labs so uh, the second is implement and workloads and security 20 25 percent of weightage and there is one more which has that huge weightage that is developed for the cloud and for azure storage you see and we have web apps for five to ten percent and we have implement authentication and secure data for five to ten percent so this is the broad uh, vision or the broad for uh, the syllabus or the skills measured but uh, I'll share the links from where you can verify the information this is the link for Microsoft documentation uh, syllabus for easy 300 and the above link the first link you can download this in the PDF and it would uh, look like this uh, let me share it with you uh, this would look like this and you can see all the information as i said this is a broad terminology deploy and configure infrastructure it has topics and topics has subtopics so it, it, it is huge trust me like under deploy and configure infrastructure we have analyze resource utilization consumption you know these are the ways we can go ahead and perform the task right uh similarly we have another topic create and configure storage account and these are the ways we will achieve this and find out how this is performed so this is a huge uh, huge pdf that you can download from the link i have shown you on the screen and we will go through each and every topics and subtopics and labs that's the plan let's see how it goes so for now uh, I hope you have you learned something new today and let's see you guys in the next video thank you